So this is another coding decoding type of question. So in some code, there are letters P, Q, R, S, T represent the numbers 4, 5, 10, 12, 15, right? There are five letters and there are five set of five numbers here. So that is clearly given that they are not in the order. So we don't know which letter represent which number. So P could be 4 or 5 or 10 or 12 or 15. It could be any of these numbers. And there are two conditions given and we need to find what is the value of P plus R minus T. This is what we need to find. So let's start with the first condition. Q minus S is equal to 2S. So when you see the first uh, equation given here, it's clearly evident that you can simplify it further because it's not in the simplified form because there is 1S, again, there is S on the other side. So you can simplify it further, right? So I'm going to do that. So I can rewrite this as Q is equal to 3 times S. So if you closely analyze this relationship, we can we can find out that, okay, Q, which is one of the number, is 3 times S another number. So what we need to do here is, you need to look for a pair of numbers. So one is 3 times the other, right? So we look for the numbers here. I could see 1 is 12 and 4 is one such pair. See, 12 is 3 times 4. So here, the value of, this could be the value of Q and the value of S is 4. That is one possibility. Is there any other possible pair we could uh, find out at the list? Yes, one more possible pair is 15 and 5. So these are the two possible set of values for QS combination, okay? As per the first condition. Then you have the second condition. It's T is equal to another letter T is equal to R plus S plus 3. And the only common uh letter which is common to both the equation is s is common right so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to figure out two cases case one and case two in case one i'm picking the value of s is four and in case two i'm picking the value of s is five and i'm going to find check whether it's possible to find out the values of t and r okay that's what i'm going to do so in case one value of s is equal to four so i'm just writing down here these are the letter numbers available 4, 5, 10, 12, and 15. And the value of S is 4. This is S. And the value of 12 is Q. Okay, these two uh, numbers are already taken in case 1. In case 2, 4, 5, 10, 12, 15. Value of Q is 15. And value of S is 5. Okay. So there are, in case 1, there are three. Uh, numbers left and three letters left, right? Three letters is uh, uh, P, R, and T. These are the three letters left and there are three values left as well. So I'm going to plug in these values, okay? Case one. So T is equal to R plus, instead of S, I'm substituting four. Four plus three, which is equal to T is equal to R plus seven. So if you closely analyze this relationship, that is T is one of the number in the list and R is also another number. So that means when you add 7 to one of the number, you should get another number. I'm going to check whether it's possible or not. Okay, let's start with 5. If you add 7 to 5, you're getting 12 because 12 is already used. So that's not possible. Then next number is 10. When you add 7 to it, 17, which is actually greater. And also with 15, also it's not possible. So if you closely analyze this, this relationship is not actually working in case 1. In the remaining numbers left it's not possible so for that reason i could say case one is not possible i could eliminate case one so that means case two has to be the only condition possible so we can confirm that value of s is five and value of q is 15 we can confirm that part. okay so i'm gonna use uh, case two in this equation that is t is equal to r plus instead of s i'm replacing it by five okay five plus three so T is equal to R plus 8. So we have uh, three numbers left. One is 4. Then you have 10 and 12. And in these three numbers left, I need to find out which pair will satisfy this condition. Okay. So you are adding 8 to one of the number. You should get other number. See, 4 if you add 8. 4 if you add 8, you are getting 12. That's only pair possible, right? 10 plus 8 is 18, which is way beyond. 12 plus 8 is also... Uh, 20 which is way beyond so only possible option here is 
R is equal to 4. This is the value of 4. 4 plus 8 is 12, which is the value of T. See, I can fix that. This is the value of R and 12 is the value of T. So that means the only left is P has to be 10. So right now, we find out what is the corresponding value of each of the letters. Okay, P is 10, R is 4, Q is 15, S is 5 and T is 12. All the values. So this is enough to find out the answer for your question. What is the question? You need to find out the value of P plus R minus T. So value of P is 10 plus what? So value of R which is 4 minus value of T which is 12. So 10 plus 4 is 14. 14 minus 12 is 2 is the right answer. So option B is actually the right answer for your question.